Hey guys, it's Richard with Rich Made Knives, and it's that time of year again. It's Vegas show, Vegas knife show time. This is for the USN Gathering G11 in Las Vegas 2019, and I am shooting this video to show you guys all the knives that I have finished for the show, and that will be available for purchase. So I'm going to swing the camera down to the assembly table here and I'm going to show you guys the knives that we've got for the show. Okay, get this a little straighter here. There we go. Okay, so I think I've got the largest batch I've ever made. I've got 36 folders and four fixed blades. So I'm going to walk you guys through all of these knives and I'm going to move a little bit quicker than I usually do because I've just got so many to get through. Otherwise, this is going to turn into a one hour video. So here we go. I'm going to walk through all these knives. By the way, uh, probably a little weird that you can't see me while I'm talking. So let me do this again. So by the way, um, all of these knives are going to be available. Obviously, if you come to the show in Las Vegas, which is being held at the um, Planet Hollywood Casino and Hotel in Las Vegas, uh, October, or sorry, August 30 and 31. So August 30, 31 at Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas is the USN Gathering G11 Knife Show. Now, all of these knives are going to be available for purchase at my table at the show. However, I do this every year, but this year I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently. I am going to be uh, posting all of these knives up for sale on my website at richmadeknives.com but I'm going to give everyone at the show at least four hours if not longer for first dibs because they made they took the time the the cost and everything associated with coming out and visiting um, the knife show in Las Vegas so they get first shot at purchasing any of the knives that I'm bringing after four hours or more I will then, whatever knives have not been purchased yet, will go up live for sale on my website at richmadeknives.com. So if you want to purchase a knife and you're not able to come to the show, I will be posting on both Instagram and Facebook, so go follow me over there. I will be posting uh, that these knives are now available on my website at richmadeknives.com. Every single knife that you're going to see today has a price sticker on it with a letter. Okay, that letter corresponds to that particular knife. So if you see a knife that you like, take note of the letter of that knife, like A, B, C, and so forth. And then when the knives go live on my website, they will be listed by the model name, the letter that's on the knife, and the price. So you can find the knife from this video that you like, and if it's available, if it doesn't get bought early in the show and you want to try to get it off the website, you can go to the website and you can look for the letter of the particular knife you're interested in. And if it's there, you'll be able to buy it. My website takes all the major credit cards, PayPal and all that stuff. And then when I get back from the show, so next week, the week after the show's over, uh, all the knives that were purchased on my website will get shipped out um, after the show is over. Okay, so here we go. Let's. Let's take you back down and show you each one of these knives that are going to be available at the show. And this is going on in probably almost two, maybe three months worth of builds. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Baby Fat Bastards. This one is what I call plates and rivets. So it's got uh, lines milled in there with blue and then holes drilled to make it kind of look like a plates and rivets pattern. I did a really cool grind offsetting um, sawtooth grind uh, on the spine of the blade and then the plates and rivets are also on the back and this knife is 450 and this one is letter N N as in Nancy oh I didn't show you the didn't show you the blade there we go that's N as in Nancy okay all right, next up, we have another plates and rivets with blue. This one is letter R, and it is 450. 
And this one has a two-tone blade and uh, milled on the top. Sorry, uh, and, a, and a grind on the top, on the flats, and a dark etch tumble on the blade. Okay, we have a special one-off baby fat bastard. This is a material that is called Texture Tech, and it's made by Alpha Knife Supply. And it is actually titanium that has this really cool texture to it. It's on both sides, including the milled pocket clip. And then a uh, nice gentle um, um, grind on the spine. And then we have a two-tone blade this one is letter S, and this one is 500. We have another baby fat bastard. This one is a uh, fade anno from blue to bronze. This one has a gr uh, hand grinding on the flats and a dark etch all the way around. A little bit of heat treat color in there too, which is really cool. This one is letter M and it is 425. Got another baby fat bastard. This one has uh, some dimpling, some whole dimples here in the front that kind of fades into flat. Blue tumbled with the flag milled into the presentation side. And this one has a dark etch natural. It's got a natural cool um, different pattern in there along the spine there that you can see that all comes straight from the oven and this one is 425 and it is letter P okay we have a full dress baby fat bastard with Timascus on the show side we have a Timascus pocket clip a lightly polished titanium rainbow anno on the lock and we have a Vegas Forge Damascus blade in what they call their alligator skin pattern. This one is 625 and it is GG, letter GG. Okay, we have another baby fat bastard. This one has the flag milled and this one has uh, is fully carved, so light carving on the handles all the way around and we have a two-tone blade dark on the grind and a silver tumbled on the grind and this one is 425 and it is letter O letter O this is the original version 1 design of the baby fat bastard and we have blue tumbled titanium all the way around two-tone blade dark on the flat grind and then a ground a hand ground and then silver tumbled on the grind and this one is 425 and is letter L we have another dress baby fat bastard with Timascus on the presentation side all titanium gold hardware and uh, lightly um, polished titanium on the pocket clip and the lock side this one is also a Vegas Forge Damascus blade. This one is 650 and is letter FF, FF. Okay, we have a brass baby fat bastard. So the presentation side is done in brass with a light carving and then a tumble. The lock side is titanium blue carved. The blade is two-tone, and this one is 450, and this one is letter Q. Okay, now we move into a new model, a new size of a model that I have not had before. I've only released one of these out to the public so far. I'll start with this one up here. This is the medium-sized Fat Bastard, and I'm going to hold up the small next to it so you can see the size difference. This is the baby. This is the medium. So I just upsized it. This one has about a two and a half inch blade 
and this one has a three and a half inch blade. And I do have this one in both the cleaver butcher style blade and the tanto blade. So this one is an anno fade on both sides, all titanium. We have uh, the cleaver butcher style blade. We have tumbled silver flats. And then this, uh, the grind here is natural uh, color coming through from the heat treat process and then tumbled after that. So you got some cool rainbow colors in there. And uh, this one is 500 and it is a BB, letter BB. Okay, we've got another medium. This is a really thick one. This is a quarter inch thick D2 steel on this one. Got the RMK milled into the, uh, for rich made knives, milled into the presentation side. Again, multicolor anno tumbled on both sides. And this one has a two tone blade carved. And this one is 500 as well. And this one is letter CC. Okay, I did some of the plates and rivets on the mediums as well. So this is a plates and rivets on the medium sized with the blue tumble all the way around. We have the butcher cleaver blade, two tone. And this one is 525 and it is letter X. We have another plates and rivets medium fat bastard. This one, instead of blue, I did in um, bronze. So we have bronze anno in the, um, in the cuts, in the grooves, and in the holes. This one, is the, this one is the Tanto style blade, and we have a cool light carving on the spine that is dark etched, and then the rest is satin tumbled. And this one is 525 and is letter Y, Y. And another medium in the Tanto blade. This one has my new logo. You can see here on my shirt, matches my new logo design here. And this one is carved all the way around and a bronze anno tumble, carved all the way around. We have a two-tone blade with a carved spine with a dark the dark color in the spine there and the rest of it is tumbled. And this one is 500 and this one is letter Z, Z. We have a zombified medium fat bastard here, only one of these. And this has my zombie pattern in here. So randomly uh, cut in holes and all kinds of cool grinds and then tumbled blue. We have a zombified blade as well. And this one is 525 and is letter AA, AA. Okay, so those are all the medium fat bastards. Now we're gonna move to the Slowpoke, which is a model that I introduced at Blade Show this year. Uh, it is my, probably my most, we'll call it my most normal design or a nice pocket friendly carry. It's about a 2.6 inch blade. Uh, this one is an anno fade. And we have a two-tone blade, dark etch or dark uh, natural oven finish on the grind, and then satin tumbled on the flats. This one is 400 and is letter H. H. We have another slow poke. This one is a Damascus blade, and it has a multicolor anno and carved as well. Yep, carved multi. Uh, carved all on the titanium and uh, multicolor anno. And then we have a Vegas Forge stainless steel Damascus blade. This one is 500 and is HH, HH. Okay, we have the only other texture tech, uh, a slowpoke texture tech, titanium. Um, it comes this way from the manufacturer with these cool carvings in it. All the full texture tech, including even the, pocket, the milled pocket clip. We have a thick blade. You can see by how thick the backspacer is. This is a quarter inch thick blade. And it is two tone as well. 
and this one is 500 and is letter I. I. Okay, so that's uh, three of the small size slow pokes. And then I have a new model, a new size of the slow poke, first time ever as well. This is a large slow poke, my first and only one so far of this size. Upsizing the slow poke, this is about a four inch blade. And same design, this one is fully carved on the titanium, uh, multicolor anno. And we have um, the light grind on the spine here. The rest of the blade is satin silver tumbled. This one is 500 and is a letter K. K. Okay, I've got a couple of dozers. I've got uh, two that I'm bringing to this show. I've got a large dozer, uh, multicolor anno tumble, or carved, carved titanium multicolor anno. And we have a really cool carving on the spine. Again, kind of that offset um, gear pattern there on the spine of the blade. We have a two-tone blade. On the flats here is the um, natural color right out of the oven. And then silver tumbled on the flats. So this d large dozer is 500 and is letter D, D. We have a small dozer fully carved titanium, bronze anode. And we have an all tumbled blade, all silver tumbled blade on this one. And this one is 425 and is a letter T, T. Okay, now moving on to the next model, I have two Grim Reapers. Um, this is a model that's going on a couple of years now and uh, is still in the rotation, and I made two of those for the show. The first one is uh, a really cool design that, in the sense that I carved quite a bit on this one on the handles, as you can see. And it's got the USA flag and milled in the side there. Carved all the way around, multicolor anode. We've got a carved spine and a two-tone blade. And this Grim Reaper is 475 and is W, letter W, okay? Next one, we have another Grim Reaper, this one with the Rich Made Knives in the handle, uh, again, fully carved. This one is gold anode and then tumbled, so the gold is mainly staying in the grind. We have another uh, hand grind on the spine. And this one is a dark, natural color coming out of the oven. So we got some really cool colors in the steel there. And then it's lightly tumbled. And this Grim Reaper is also 475 and is letter V, V. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the ratchets. And I've got uh, some large and some small. I've got two large brass ratchets that are hand distressed. So the finish on the brass is all hand done to distress it and give it a really nice cool look. On the back of this one, we have a, a hand grinding on the titanium uh, and then anode blue. On this one, we have a dark etch natural color coming through on the blade there, all dark etch. And this one is 550 and is letter C, C. We have another brass. This one is a really thick one. This is a quarter inch thick D2 steel, so a really heavy and thick knife. Uh, also hand distressed, hand aged, patinaed on the brass. And on this one on the lock side, it is uh, also carved and an anode a dark bronze. The blade on this one is also dark with some cool smoky color in it. Again, super thick steel on this one. This one is also 550 and this one is letter a B, B. Okay, we've got four small ratchets. The first one is uh, the dimpled pattern fade away uh, to a, bl a blue tumbled finish on the titanium on both sides. 
We have a two-tone blade that is carved on the spine. And this one is 425 and is a letter E, E. We have a brass, small, a small brass ratchet that is, the brass is carved and tumbled and developing a nice looking patina already. On the lock side, we have carved bronze. And then on the blade on this one is a two-tone blade carved as well. This one is 450 and is letter G, G. We have an all titanium ratchet, small ratchet, three holes milled into both sides, and we have a multicolor anno that is then tumbled. The blade on this one is dark, natural color from the oven, and tumbled. This one is 425 and is letter F, letter F. And the last small ratchet is a is one I did the this cool uh, grind pattern here and all the way around, and then tumbled blue. We have a thick blade on this one, a quarter inch or close to a quarter inch. It looks like maybe maybe it's a like point one point two somewhere in that range. Um, two tone dark etch on the spine. This one is 425 and is a letter U, U. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the zombie killer. I've been getting asked to make some zombie killers for the last year or two, and um, I didn't have the zombie killer put into AutoCAD to where it was really into the rotation and everything, and so I finally got the CAD work done uh, to bring the zombie killer back for you guys and I have both a I have one uh, baby zombie killer which is this one and then I have two large zombie killers which I'm going to show you next so this one is the only one I have right now of this one this is the baby zombie killer fully full zombie finish with the grinds the cuts the holes all the way around this one has a two-tone zombified blade as well with that really cool upsweep pattern of my original zombie killer design. This one is 450 and this one is letter J, J. Okay, and I mentioned that I have two of the large zombie killers and here it is, here's one of the two. This one, again, fully zombified on the handle all the way around. This one has the USA flag in it, fully zombified uh, quarter inch thick D2 steel on this one, two-tone blade. And this is the large zombie killer. And this one is 550 and is letter DD, DD. Okay. The only other large zombie killer is, uh, this is very similar to the last one, except this one doesn't have the flag, just the zombified titanium all the way around. A thinner stock steel on this one, for those of you who like thinner steel. This is, I think, a 0.187, whereas the other one was quarter inch. Again, we have a two-tone zombified blade. Same price. Uh, 550 on this one and it is EE -E, e -E. okay and uh, we have one fat bastard folding sword I don't I'm not making too many of these anymore because these are not for the faint of heart purchasers this is an absolute ridiculously large knife and I also very rarely do a full zombification on this folding sword so this is the Fat Bastard Folding Sword with the zombie finish on it and the USA flag. Fully zombie finish all the way around on the handles that were then multicolor flame anode and then tumbled all the way around. The blade on this one 
is zombified as well. The color, it's a little hard to see on the video, but there's some just some beautiful color through the entire blade on this uh, oven, dark oven finish here. And then uh, we have a silver tumbled finish on the grind. And this is the newest version uh, where I incorporated a full backspacer all the way around, geared aluminum backspacer that goes almost the entire length of the knife, which gives it a lot of stability. Okay, so just one of these. I'm only doing maybe one, but one or two per show. This show is getting one Fat Bastard folding sword. This one is 700 and is letter A, A. I've got two of the double ratchets for this show. For those of you who may have seen this knife before, this is my craziest design, where it actually has two blades. This is the double ratchet. It's got a, uh, the hole that goes straight through both blades. This one is um, multicolor flame anode and tumbled. And then we've got the two-tone finish on the blades, the double blades. This one is 650 and is letter J, 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 J. Got one more double ratchet. This one is all natural color titanium, but carved all the way around on the titanium handles. Again, the double bladed double ratchet. Again, a two-tone finish on the blade. Okay, and then I've got some of the fixed blade fat bastards, baby fat bastards. So I've made a few batches of these. I think I released about four or five of these earlier this year, and I'm going to be bringing four of these to the show. Um, at, these are actually up on the website right now. If you want to grab these um, before the show starts, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, I did, they're, they're all, all four of these are exactly the same. The only difference is the color on the, uh, on the handles. Um, so we've got four different choices that you can choose from right now up on the website. This one is natural silver titanium scales uh, that's carved. This one is carved edges gold anode. This one is carved um, scales, titanium scales on this one. That's bronze anode with black hardware. And then this one is uh, tumbled multicolor anode titanium scales with black hardware. And these four, I think I'm selling them for 160, 150, something like that. Um, and these four little, these four fixed blades here they're up on the website right now. If you want to go grab one, you can do that even before the show starts. But this is my uh, fixed blade baby fat bastard. And I've got four of these that are going to the show. Okay, let me get back in the camera here so you're not staring at my table. Okay, guys, so... That's the show lineup for the USN Gathering G11 in Las Vegas. Hope to see you there um, at table number 26, which is the same table I've had for the last three years. Stop by and say hello. Pick up any of these knives while you're there. If you want to get them before, if you're coming to the show and you want to get one of these knives, please stop by before halfway through day number one, because after that, Depend time, you know, time allowing. I'm going to try to get all of these up on my website so that you can go and buy them. If you see any of these knives that I, because I'll try to get them up on Instagram as well. Don't contact me through Instagram if you want to buy one. Just go to Rich Made Knives, complete the purchase on my website. Um, I will be keeping a close eye on website sales at the show. And if you buy one of these knives from me at the show, we will pull it off the table and put it into our. Um, our Pelican case to take home with us so that when we get home, we will ship the knife out to you that you purchased from our website. So hope to see you guys there in Las Vegas. Looking forward to it. This is the largest batch of knives I've ever made. Uh, it's going to be crazy heavy luggage to get all these knives out to Vegas, but uh, bringing a great selection for you guys. So hope to see you there. 
Thanks for your support and we'll see you again soon.